18b. Here the common mistake that we see is that when we simplify this, most students will recognize there's a common factor of c, and they will cancel out the c's like this, and then leave a zero for the c here. So they, the, the c disappears here, and there's nothing left behind. Now it's important to remember that when you simplify fractions by times and divide, when the, you cancel the numerator with denominator, you're always left with one. When you undo a times with a divide, you're always left with one. So the correct answer for this then would look like this. We have CA plus CB over C plus CD. Okay, when we cancel this, if you want to do a shortcut, you could do cancel, 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 cancel. And then we end up with A plus B on the numerator and one plus d in the denominator. And that's the important part here, is that when we cancel that c with the times and divide, we're always left with one. Another way we can show it is we can just show it as factors. a plus b over c. This is one plus d. When we factor out the c, we're left with one. And again, canceling those out, we left we end up with that solution.